Ferrari, the well-known Italian supercar brand. Ferrari produced countless legendary cars from the 250 GTO, one of the most expensive cars in the world, to the Ferrari F40, which was released after the 40th anniversary of Ferrari. A car that holds the record for the fastest accelerating car and the highest top speed after its release. But what did we got for the Ferrari's 50th anniversary? Well, this. I would call it the underdog. So for the 50th anniversary, obviously we didn't got this car. This is the Ferrari F1 car, the 412 T1B to be precise. But what if I told you that, oh my God. So what if I told you that we put the engine of this car into a road legal car to have the most F1 experience in a road legal car. So if we mix the engine from this car with a road legal car, let's see what we get. So here we have it, the 50th anniversary Ferrari's masterpiece. It's the Ferrari F50, the successor of the Ferrari F40 of course. So let's just first hit the elephant in the room, the Ferrari F50. Two things that we have to start off with is first, what people didn't like, the or what a lot of people didn't like is the styling. Styling of the car, it's a personal thing of course. I always liked it as it is more unique, in my opinion, more timeless, more, well, if you compare it to the cars from the same area, it looks more timeless, it's more rounded and it has a different styling and that's what I really liked uh, or what I always really liked about this car. Number two, the Ferrari F40, it was an amazing car when it was released of course a few years before the Ferrari F50 and it broke quite a few records. It holds the highest top speed for quite a while and the fastest accelerating car when it was released. It held that for quite a few years as well. What did the Ferrari F50 got? Well, not a lot. It didn't have the, it wasn't the fastest accelerating car or it didn't have the highest top speed of the supercars that were out there. The only thing it really had was that it had the F1 engine. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> so, what did you got with this car when it was released? Well, how I started the video as well. It had the V12 engine from the Formula 1 car from the year before. It had 413 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. One very interesting thing is that it was 5 kilos lighter than the F40 actually. And why I say that's interesting is because it has a V12 instead of a V8. So, so that's a much larger engine and it's actually lighter. It's due of course to some carbon fiber that was around everywhere in the car. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 325 kilometers per hour which was pretty quick as well for 1995. But then again the McLaren F1 was out as well and that hit almost 400 kilometers per hour. I think it was 395 so that's quite a lot quicker actually. Another fun fact about this car is, I think a lot of people don't know this actually, it is a Targa top. You can actually remove the top from the car. It is not really recommended to do it yourself in real life, as it is quite the procedure. But for every Ferrari F50, you have a few options. You can do it with the top or without the top, as you can bring it to the dealership and let the top be removed and bring it back home. You can't fit it into the car so you will have to bring another car to bring it with you or leave it at the dealership. But it is quite an interesting procedure as it is a hard top or a soft top if you would remove the top. So this mod is made by Dan Buska. He produced quite a few cars already actually. I will link all the links down in the 
description of course as always this car and one of the reasons why I'm reviewing it is because it's such a nice mod it's so realistic and it's it's really finished I think it's like the third version of this car and he's done that with quite a few other cars as well a lot of people and that's what I said before as well people release cars but don't quite finish them and I'm not saying that out of all, out of all the models of course but when I have time I would like to make these videos and I choose I kind of choose the cars that I want to make a video about and this is one I wanted to make a video about for a long time as it is such a detailed mod everything works in the car you can open the doors you can open the back you can the vents even in the back are working of the car the small little details from the back as well it just all looks so stunning and that's what I really like about his mods that he just keeps on improving them and never really finished them. As I said before in some other videos, I really enjoy driving these cars, especially cars that are finished like this and that are just so detailed. It makes everything just better in the game and it makes driving these cars especially a lot better. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!